Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Trevor from Trade Blog HD here and today I'm actually here to show you a tip on how to fix that freezing issue and the crushing issue that's going on uh, on the Galaxy S4, the GT i9-5405. If you updated to Lollipop, you might have been experiencing those issues where you, uh, you try to move things from your home screen, like let's say uh, your WhatsApp, if you try to move it, it crashes. Um, I've kind of figured out what's causing it really. Uh, it's something to do with the software. I think Samsung have not polished the software properly enough yet. Um, one of my uh, one of my viewers actually told me about it, so I thought let me try and it actually works. So you can actually get this resolved, so you don't get these crashes all the time. Like for example, if you want to move things onto your home page, you can't do that because it just crashes. Touch with home launch, it just crashes, and for some reasons, yeah, it's a, such a nightmare. Uh, really frustrating, really annoying. But I've kind of figured out what it is because uh, like I said one of my uh, viewers actually told me about this So what you do to get this fixed Scroll down you go on to your settings This is only if you're on lollipop guys remember that you go into your settings then you go where it says my device All right, then you go where it says motions and gestures So you click on motions and gestures if you've got motion enabled That's what causes all those things to happen in you know, all the crashes and everything that's caused by emotions and gestures um it still sucks that you have to turn it off because i actually use my emotions sometimes especially when i'm on my gallery to like you know flick through the pictures and all that kind of stuff but hey if i want you if you want your phone to work with that touch switch you're gonna have to turn off your motions and gestures then now when you go back on the home screen now you should be able to add things on your home screen like let's say let's say the calendar now i can add things on the home screen and it should work perfectly fine and that's the same with things like widgets as well put that here. so for example i want that google search widget just hold it for long uh widgets let's see if i can find my uh, google yeah google search widget right here then we can put it over here now we can, you can move things around which is a good thing i guess but at the same time it kind of disable quite a lot of your features you know if you use a lot of motions and gestures you're kind of gonna miss it um so far as far as i know the only uh what's it called the only motion that needs disabling uh is just the motion one not air gestures because air gestures seem to work fine even uh you know it, it doesn't seem to be affecting anything else uh on the phone so that's good you know that that's a bonus that's a plus i guess but yeah i just thought let me show you guys this little tutorial on how to get it fixed so anyways guys thanks for watching please stay subscribed and like the video for more video and tutorials i'll be doing an unboxing of the s6 in the next week so yeah hope you have a good day now i'm out y'all peace